Okay, what I'm trying to do here is not really a scientific experiment, and I'm going to try and uh, switch antennas around here. So uh, let me explain what we got going on here. Is this is the uh, Texan PL990X shortwave receiver, and I'm tuned in to the uh, noontime net here on ham radio on 7284, and it's just uh, hooked up to a uh, 80 meter end fed half wave. It's in a V configuration, long sloping. Uh, maybe the top of the V is about, uh, oh, I don't know, 15, maybe, maybe 18, 20 feet in the air. And um, the ICOM I have set up is on my, it's my base unit set up, and it's got an 80 meter off center fed dipole. Uh, feed point is about 35 plus feet in the air and we're gonna kind of go over the difference and then at the end I'm gonna plug in my base unit dipole the off-center fed dipole into the Texan here and see the difference in the uh, uh, n-fed half wave setup compared to the uh, off-center fed dipole setup and kind of the receiver differences too between the ICOM and the, the Texan PL90. Like I said, it's not a scientific thing, but let's do some listening here and I'll, I'll tell you what we're doing. So this is what we're listening to is the PL990X on an 80 meter end fed half wave. North or the uh, new time net um, has several different net controls. They swap around. I think this guy's in Reno, Nevada. I'm in uh, Northern Washington. So you can you can you can pick it out, but it's pretty weak, pretty light. There we go. That's a little bit better. And conditions change on on the bands. You guys know this, I'm sure. All right, let's switch over to the ICOM. Now we're gonna hear that. Net controls in California, right there. In fact, both those stations are in California. With the, they both have the six call, but I looked them up. They're in six. They're in California. Okay, so significantly better. Let's try some changing things around. So I'm going to pause the video here. Next time we hear it, I'm going to put the, um, the off center fed dipole the base unit antenna hook it up to the Texan here and um, switch it around Okay, so you can uh, definitely hear the difference there. 
significant difference. So this antenna is a base unit inverted V long wire uh, antenna. Uh, I guess it's probably 150 feet long. I don't remember exact exactly. Excuse me, but um, it's significantly longer. But that other one is also an 80 meter end fed half wave. It's just a little bit uh, less um, elevation in the V, the the top point of the V antenna. So antennas matter hugely. I think the receiver does pretty good. I don't think it's as good as the ICOM. But it's pretty good. Uh, antennas are important. Very important. But not you can't really put a 150 plus foot antenna out there. It's difficult sometimes. So uh, the other day I just posted a video. I was out camping and I had this thing running on that little Texan uh, Sanjian, I think. I forget. Gosh, I can't. I mix those two up. I've got a few of them. But it was just a, uh, the little wind-up ones. And I was getting the net. and um, But it was pretty pretty bad. But I was getting other stations too. And uh, some, some stations on 20 meters. So they do work. But what I would say, if anything... If you can uh, get as much wire out there as possible, um, you're going to get a, a, a better signal. So what I'll do is I'll cut immediately. I'll hook this back up to the ICOM and we'll go from this audio to the ICOM. And it's not a really fair comparison. They're significantly different radios, but you guys will get the point. Same antenna. Okay, uh, I'm going to, uh, okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to switch over uh, to the ICOM. Okay, now we're on the ICOM. Same antenna. I'm going to shut the Texan down and unplug it. And I'm going to try and actually get get uh, check in here with the uh, with the icon. We'll see if we can check in here. make sure all your radios are off when you're transmitting I'm using a hundred watts on this a lot of times if you have antennas hooked up to uh, other receivers like this one in the same room um, you want to unplug your antennas and things like that because you can blow it out 
Oh, he missed California. We'll go for the other one there. Whis Whiskey 7, Romeo Kilo Tango. Uh, Kilo uh, 7. Kilo 7, Whiskey Fox Park Mike. Whiskey Fox Mike, I have you. Thank you. Roger, Roger, thanks. Okay, and who is the other? Whiskey 7, Romeo Kilo Tango. Whiskey 7, uh, Romeo Kilo Tango, I have you. Roger, 7 3, thanks. You have a good day, another. Whiskey 7, Charlie Papa Tango. Okay, guys, there you go. Things are working pretty good. I was, uh, the reason I kind of stuttered there at the beginning is I, uh, that when I keyed up the microphone, just like I was saying, um, it can overload um, antennas and equipment. Well, I have my studio headphones on, and believe it or not, it picked up the uh, transmission through the uh headphone cord and i could hear it in my microphone i'm like holy smokes so i <laughs> unplug those real quick so you can definitely overload overload stuff with uh uh transmitting too much power or uh in close proximity rather so um thanks for lis uh, listening and watching you guys if you like this please subscribe i know it's not a really scientific test but it's fun to try it out and see the difference the uh, the 7300 is phenomenal uh, with the right antenna, the PL990X and the uh, uh, PL330 for that matter is a great little uh, uh, receiver as well. I would recommend both of them, but uh, this this particular one they're a little spendy for for it, but I like the uh, the feel that you get with it seems more of like a desktop situation instead of the the pl30 is much more portable even though this is portable but this is still uh pretty uh pretty good size but uh the pl330 man you, it's just a phenomenal little uh setup for uh portable uh shortwave listening so there's just an example for you. Uh, please like and subscribe, you guys. I'm trying to build the channel here, and uh, if I have any links down below, there are affiliate links, most likely. I'll I'll try and mark them and um, let you guys know of uh, anything I use here in the video. If I can, if I can find a link for it, uh, helps the channel as well. So thanks a bunch. Have a good one.